Welcome back to the den everybody, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Today I will be showing you how to make a standard stock pot into a brewing kettle with a tap, just like this, on today's... So the first thing that I did is I marked the center of my pot so that I could have a nice center point for my tap. Then I got a straight edge and drew a line so I knew roughly where to go. Unfortunately, my big ginger head was in the way, but you get the idea. Once you're happy with your lines, get the centre part of your bowl valve and you just want to mark out around the exterior and the interior. You also want to hit that subscribe button as well. These markings will then be for your pilot hole and for your interior hole cut. And then typically in great British weather fashion, it started to rain. For this, I am using a 4mm metal drill bit. And I am also using a step drill bit to bore out my hole. Once you're happy, test your centerpiece to see that it fits. But do be careful, there are sharp parts at this point. So for that I recommend that you file the edges down and also wash out the inside of all the metal filings. Now that your centerpiece is fitting in all nice and snug, you want to grab some PTFE tape and just wrap it around the thread on both sides of the centerpiece. This will just help seal the thread. To start the installation of your ball valve tap, we're going to start at the back. You're going to want to roll your rubber washer on first, and then put your silver washer on, and then tighten that all together with the locking nut. For the front it's the same, roll on your rubber washer, then put on your steel washer, and then your ball valve tap.
And that is how you install a ball valve tap to a kettle. You can also add a thermometer in the same sort of process. If you'd like to see that, comment down below. And thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.